Hi. Welcome to Off the Ranch. Uh, this is Dozer, for those who don't know. He's our dog. He smells bad. But it's about time for his, uh, his, you know, oil change, rotate the tires, you know, change the fluids, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna clean his ears, give him a bath. I mean, that could be part of our problem. He hates me messing with his ears, but he's such a good dog that he just sits there and does it. And then it's time for a little bathy bath. Good boy. Good boy, Josie. I know, he also hates baths. He really doesn't like getting in water and swimming. He'll do it, but he doesn't. It's not one of those things he loves. Like, a lot of dogs really love it. Not those. I also don't have any dog shampoo. Hmm. Do I use Mary's shampoo? Yeah. Don't tell Mary. Yeah, uh, please. Oh, you smell like Mary. You smell like Meredith. Also, dog shampoo versus human shampoo, it doesn't matter. Dog skin is very similar to human skin. Some dogs, of course, need special shampoo, just like some people do, but most cases, you can use whatever, and they'll be fine. Then you dry them off, and the friskiest dozer is the post-bath dozer. He runs around like his little puppy again. Clean dog. Disgusting bathtub. Do you think Meryl will notice? If I just kind of leave it like this? I think it's fine, right? Oh, you're so pumped up. I'm clean, Dad. I'm clean. Look at me. Look at me. Look how clean I am. Ah, this is the best day ever. Oh, let's go back inside. Yeah, this is the best. I decided the other day that I want to start working out every day. Even if it's just something small. Like if I'm super busy one day, Maybe I just do some push-ups or some sit-ups before bed. But I want to try to work out every day. And on days that I can work out hard, I want to work out hard. Yesterday, I worked out in New York. I ran like all over New York. That seems so weird. That was just yesterday morning that I was in New York working out. Now I'm here. But yesterday I worked out, had a really good workout. Today is a Texas workout in the home gym. So it's kind of boring for you guys to watch me just work out. But you know what? Got to put in that time, you know? I wish there was just a way that we could just warp through the workout, like in real life, to, oh, there is a way, because it's YouTube. So I can warp myself, and I don't have to go through all the pain and agony of the actual gym workout. I'll just warp through, straight to the results. Ready? Here we go. It made me out of breath, too. Jeez, I must have had a good workout. I wonder why I worked out today. No, no. Ah! Oh! Should have known. Every day is arm day. I do need to get cleaned up now, but thankfully I don't have to get very clean because, well, I'll tell you one second. Well, it's because I have to go somewhere and that probably doesn't explain it to you at all, but let me show you one thing. Mayor's car normally parks right here. It's not there right now. And Mayor just texted me and said, hey, you wanna go eat with me? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, cool, can you pick me up? She's working at the bunker right now. And I was like, Oh, uh, no I can't because my truck is in here. Someone borrowed it. So I don't have Mayor's car or my truck, but that's okay, that's okay, we have a Humvee. We have this nice Humvee right here. Oh, why is the hood up? Well, the thing is, Humvees uh, are kind of beastly, but you gotta work on them every once in a while. And I actually, this is not really you need to work on it, this is just a uh, owner hasn't been maintaining his vehicle properly kind of thing. I've been driving this thing and noticing that the voltmeter has been slowly decreasing. It usually was in the green, and then the last like five times I drove it, it was in the yellow, and I was like, hmm, interesting. Let's not worry about this yet. Let's just keep going. And then the last two times I drove it, it was in the red, and I was like, I feel like this thing used to be in the yellow and the green. And I was like, yes, it most definitely has. So I, I thought, okay, so it still cranks, but definitely the batteries are getting lower, and the batteries are good, I know that. So, alternator or generator? I don't know if these are alternators or generators in these cars. I don't know what you call them. Uh, so I thought, okay, that could be a problem and looked them up online to see how much a new one is. They're quite expensive. Like an alternator for like a Honda Civic is like a $30 part for a Humvee. Because they're not super common, I guess, is like 10 to 20 times more. So I was like, let's just look at it and see. And I was like, where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. That looks fine. And then I was like, hmm. That looks like it could be missing something. So if you'll notice, there should be a belt. 
So our alternator generator is not even spinning, which is great because that's a super easy fix. That just means a couple months ago I threw a belt and this thing, it has two giant, let me just show you. Hmm. Pretty normal in a Humvee, I guess. Those two enormous batteries. So even though this thing has not been charging in, I would guess two months, it still will start up, but it's definitely like starting to get a little slower every time I start. I, I like, that's why I finally had to pop the hood and look. I was like, yeah, something's wrong. And I was like, oh yeah, no pulley. I mean, no belt on our pulley. I gotta get a new belt. Should be an easy fix. But the problem is, Mayor's car's gone, my truck's gone, Humvee, not reliable because I, eventually it's gonna not start. Eventually those are gonna be low enough that they won't start. What else? The Goblin. The Goblin's not here. I loaned it to somebody. The Goblin is not here. There's only one more thing to do. <laughs> oh, this would totally get me over there. But it would be highly illegal. Because this thing is not only not street legal, it is probably the opposite of street legal. It's like a street felony, I would guess. This thing is insane. It would definitely work, but I would definitely go to jail. But then I was thinking like, what could I do that would maybe be a little more legal, but not jail time illegal? Possible? I, I mean, I could go off the road. It's just like a, it's a highway and some other little roads. I could be on the, just the grass all the way. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm taking a go-kart to the bunker today. Yeah, no one's here to say not to, so. This is probably gonna be one of my better ideas. You people who mow out in front of your house, I love you. This makes it way better. So I just went through mud and it splattered all over me. I didn't think it was mud. I went through a little drainage ditch. All the other ones have been dry. This one is wet. Ugh, dang it. It's all over my back, it's on my face. Cool, lunch day with mayor should be great today. This is the part that might be slightly illegal. I'm going the speed limit, so it should be fine, right? So here's the deal. I kind of got mud thrown all over my back. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. One second. Much better. Sure, though, not so good. Hey, Team Bunker. Y'all seem busy, but I need another shirt. Do y'all have any extras? Do we make shirts here? Where's this one? Can we show that one yet? Yeah, why not? Mm. Yeah, right now. It's cool? Okay, let me put it on and then we'll show it to you. The deal with this shirt is it is the most special shirt we have ever made. And I can't tell you why right now, but I will tell you everything. I'll explain everything at the end of this video. But it is the most exciting thing that we have done, possibly on the whole channel, but definitely with the bunker. It is. So good. We're gonna go to lunch right now. I'll be right back. Lunch was great. Thanks for asking. Also, I got back home without having to drive a go-kart. Much better. Also, the Humvee. I have three different belts. One of these, the guy at the shop thinks will fit an M998 military Humvee. We shall find out. This is the one the guy said would probably work. So we'll try this one first. Hmm, I wonder where it goes. Like, does it go around the fan too? I am going to have to look up a belt diagram for the front of this engine, because I have no idea. So after some Googling, I found that this thing needs to go here, and then go to the fan pulley, down to the crank pulley, and then back up here. And the one I saw had two, had a pulley on each one of these. I guess it's kind of a backup, I think. So I'm only gonna put one on there today, and then if whichever size is the one that fits, I'll go buy another one of those and come stick it on there. The problem is I gotta get it around this fan here, which is not normally a problem, except there's a power steering line coming from the center of the fan. What is up with that? Anyway, kind of interesting, but I apparently have to disconnect that to get the, the belt worked around the fan. Luckily the Humvee tells you where not to put weight because I'm like standing on the engine right now. And it's like, don't step here. Don't step here, don't step here. So that's, it's got a lot of dummy um, warnings. Okay, that is not long enough. 
at all. Dang. Um, I found an old belt. It was stuck hanging down and stuff. So I can actually see, huh, that actually looks, yeah, it's definitely bigger than that one. Let's see if this is the right size, if this 61 inch is the belt we need. Oh, it's definitely too small, but it's really close. Okay, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but this belt is trash. It is just all rotten and cracked. All right, now I'm trying to break it, it'd be cool. Yeah, that is a messed up belt. No, it didn't fit. I know, I'm disappointed too. Gotta go back, get, hopefully they have another belt that's five inches bigger? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I didn't film while I was there, I just got back. Uh, I'm not really supposed to show you this kind of stuff on this channel, but let me just give you a little a little peek, okay? Here's the box it came in. It's cool, right? Um, little, little peek, peek. No, nothing. Nothing there. Nothing to see there, uh, but it's probably going to go on Demolition Ranch. Here's how you scare a four-year-old. Hey, Lincoln, catch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bully people. It's cool, though, okay? Bullying is not nice. Here's how you make a kid giggle. You run from them, we'll swing. Don't run in here. <laughs> My kids love it. Even their little babies, they love that. <laughs> hey, check out our new shirts. Silent Night, a very Demolition Ranch Christmas. So, let's tell them what's so special about this shirt. Why it's the most special shirt we've ever made. Because it's our first ever subscription shirt. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean, Mayor? Tell me more. Um, so our subscription shirts will be one of a kind, available one month only, only for people that are subscribed. So you can't just go on the side at any time and buy them. And yeah, one month um, only. So after this month, this shirt's gone forever. You can subscribe for one month at a time. So you'll basically pay one month at a time and it auto renews every month until or if you cancel it. Or you, you would can, never want to cancel know, it. The shirts are gonna, gonna only be get so better. Awesome. Or you can buy a three month or a 12 month subscription. Um, but for this very first month to celebrate the kickoff of this, um, we're gonna have some freebies to go with it. Tell so, us. So extra shirt. Yeah, you'll get a mystery shirt, a which mystery, could be a anything random shirt. in the warehouse. It could be demo or vet. If you don't like or, it, you can give it to someone else. It'll yeah, be your size, it'll but be it's going to be a size, random shirt. Whatever size that you order, and it'll be totally random. Yep. Do you get a sticker? And if you sign up for a multi-month subscription, you get a hat. Booyah! That's great and all, but there's more. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go back to that Just real kidding. quick. There's no more. You have to order by the 28th of this month to get this, this shirt. shirt and the freebies that go along with this shirt. Okay, but wait, there's more. Can I go on to the next thing? I'm really excited about these, the next thing. Hold on, and these will ship the first week in December. Can I tell them my thing now? Yes. You know my goblin? Yeah. It's a little bitty race car, it's super fast, like Lamborghini fast, you guys, you guys love it. You know what would make it better though? The goblin is like a race car, it's really low to the ground, super fast. You know what would be cool? Is if it was a little more off -roady. To make it even more dangerous than it already is. No, safer. <laughs> because what if it had a full roll cage, right? Are you with me? It was a, had some knobby or bigger tires and wheels, um, and then had a little more ground clearance, like five more inches. Isn't that what you just got go-karts for? Yeah, but what if we could drive them street legal on the street and go off-road? What if we made that happen and I got one? You do not have room for another car. What if I got it temporarily, and then we gave it to one of them? <laughs> That's good with me. We're gonna give a car away. I talked to the guys who made my goblin. I was like, hey, can we build another one, but make it better for off-road? And they were like, we love it. We love this. And so uh, we ordered it. It's being built as we speak, and it is going to be awesome. And our plan is, to basically, anybody who signs up for our subscription shirts, you're gonna be entered in to win, and we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of April for the yeah. car. Mm -hmm. So how, is that six months from now? Yeah. Ish. So yeah. we're gonna run this for six months, so you can earn every month you're in, you get another entry, right? How, does it, how do the entries work? 
Um, yeah, every month that you're subscribed, you get an entry into the drawing. Or if you sign up for a multi-month subscription, your entries double. You get more. So I'll put all that in the description too, just to explain how the entry works, because it's kind of confusing. But at the end of April of 2019, we will put all the entries into a system, we'll randomly pick a winner, and we, and it's also, let me just say, it's in the lower 48 states. I am not gonna drive this thing to Alaska or Hawaii or England or something. Because I want to come yeah, deliver it to you. it's domestic only. Yes. 48 states. I, I'm going to come and deliver this car to the winner. And we're going to film it all. And I hope they're not like, I don't remember ordering this. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't want this little tiny car. Hopefully they're pumped like I am about it. So anyway, we're going to do a little car giveaway. You get a car and you get a car and you get a car and you get a car. <laughs> Except only one of you gets a car. Way less cool than Oprah. <laughs> All this stuff is in the description below explained way more, way better, and way less confusing and And the slow. website, BunkerBranding.com, has all of those details and contest entry details and all that kind of stuff, too. Basically, to sum it all up, it's going to be sick. Yeah. In, a good, in a good way. Like, sick in English is, like, awesome. Like, really cool. So we're out here looking at the Humvee now. So the parts store uh, does not have the right belt that I need, so we had to special order it. So Humvee, I was hoping I get the Humvee back and going tonight. Not gonna happen, but hopefully soon. They should have it in pretty soon. Addie, this girl, is seven years old, but not for long. Her birthday's coming up in like five, five days. Yes! Are you pumped? And you'll be what, nine, 12? 3,300 more Holy cow, you look <laughs> great for being that age. <laughs> We're pumped that we've had our little Addie for almost eight years. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. We love you. What camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>